All right, these are eight millimeter bolts. And just take your dipstick out. All right, y'all, we got this connector to the uh, cylinder. We're just gonna take it off. Also, on this temp sensor here, it got this little red locking clip. Just push in on it. Then you can release your uh, connector. Get those out of the way. Now we got these four bolts to the EGR we're going to take loose. These are going to be a 10 millimeter. got this uh, band clamp right here. It's going to be a 11 millimeter. We're just going to loosen it up. You don't have to take it all the way off the uh, nut. Uh, let me get something tap that loose there. There it goes. Oh, Spin it around, just slip it off. You can see right there, it just connects in here like this right here. Locks into place. So uh, now we're ready to take the uh, EGR off and you're gonna have a gasket underneath and you're gonna have a gasket right here on this uh, crossover tube so, uh, let me uh, get my camera show y'all what it looks like it doesn't look too bad like I say I try to do mine about every 70 to 100,000 miles and uh, so looks pretty good y'all let me show you what it looks like oh well, here's the uh, EGR if you look in there you kind of see uh, it's not real bad uh, set it up don't have a lot of carbon in it so uh, what i'm gonna do next is uh take this uh solenoid off right here you're gonna have four screws in it all right there you go you see them four screws right there just take a phillips head screwdriver and break them all loose Also, you're gonna have a gasket right in here when you take it loose. You'll see that it's a metal gasket. This particular EGR valve is going to be used, I know, uh, on a lot of models up to 2018, this same design. So I'm not sure exactly what the first year they came out with. 
I know like I think 2011 on up should be just identical and maybe some year models before that I haven't looked it up so you just need to kind of verify your year model for your truck and see what your maintenance procedure are because I know on this particular truck here uh, the recommended interval as far as cleaning the EGR it's going to be different from your earlier models because it does have the def on it but I just try to do mine about every like I say 70 to 100 thousand so here's this metal gasket right here and uh, I just always try to clean up this um, solenoid here but it, other than that you know it's nothing you're going to do to it so we're just going to lay it to the side so now you'll see in the end of it here you have these two keepers right here and um, you have a valve in here that moves back and forth and um, so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and clean this out we're going to put some cleaner in it and let it soak and uh, then i'll take this uh two keepers out here and take a you got a uh, keeper and then you got this retainer and then you have a spring behind there and uh, we'll clean that valve and everything real good i've got this uh parts cleaner right there that i'm just going to spray in here and um, we're going to just let this set and i'm going to work this valve in here back and forth um, you want to let it soak you know hour at least an hour you could let it soak you know more than that depending on how bad it is this is not real bad so i'm just going to spray it in there real good and i'm going to spray some also in this side of it right here and you want to prop it up here because your cleaner run out if you don't this uh side of it right here so we're just gonna go ahead and fill this up you can use purple power or simple green or any kind of a cleaner um, it's not real hard to clean to be honest we I, I think last time I used some kind of orange degreaser type cleaner so I'm just gonna fill this up and uh, let it set and let me just show you here just take your hand here on this plunger and just work that plunger back and forth and I don't know if you can see it right there. You can kind of see the valve moving back and forth. That'll help uh, clean inside Another of thing it. I do, I just take a toothbrush and I just get in there and scrub real good while it's soaking. And it helps break any kind of a carbon that's uh, on there loose. And when it's all done, I just take a water hose and spray it out real good. And uh, all right, child, I'm ready to... Uh, take these keepers out right here and um, but first you can take a shop towel or something stick in here this valve when you push down on it it's going to move so i'm just going to take a screwdriver and set it in there and uh, then i'm just going to take some pliers right here and push down on this keeper i mean it's the retainer here and you want to be careful with the spring in behind there but i'll take me a magnet to uh, help uh, pull them out but you don't want to lose these two keepers so you want to be careful when you take those out so just push down on it and you can kind of let the pressure off real slow there there's one of them right there just came out We're gonna get this oven out here. I'll just take it, knock it off with my finger there. And just ease up on that spring. Take the other keeper out. There's that spring. We're gonna get all this cleaned up. And uh, I was thinking, because it's been a while. I was thinking, uh, you know, you can take this uh, valve out. But I guess what you do, this allows you to kind of get in there and move this valve back and forth. And uh, you can get in here and clean a little bit more inside of it right here. So that's what I'm fixing to do. I'm fixing to put my cleaner back in it. 
And uh, so I was wrong about it that the valve itself does not come out. So I'm just gonna take my cleaner right here and put it back down in here and get it and clean it up some more, y'all. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm getting ready to put it back together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put this little screwdriver back down in here. And uh, like I say, you can push shop towel, whatever. Main thing is to keep this valve from pushing down to, when you put this uh, spring keeper back in. So here's my spring, got it good and clean. And here's my retainer right here. I'm gonna put that on top of the spring. And y'all remember, to be careful here, you don't wanna lose your keepers or your springs or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna push down like that with my pliers. I'm gonna take one of my keepers. I'm just gonna drop it in here. And this is probably gonna be one of your hardest parts, y'all, is to get that keeper down in there. I got one of them in there. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my other one in here. That's what my magnets for. Uh, sometimes they get displaced and uh, you can use that magnet to pick them up with. So let's try this again, y'all. Pliers. This is probably more time consuming part of it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try something different here. I put both my keepers in there. I'm not sure if it'll work. But I'm just gonna try something. I never did this before, but I'm gonna just try it. Put both of the keepers in there. Well, one of them got set right there. Um, let me go ahead and push back down on this and see if I can get the other one in there. All right, y'all. Got it in there. I just used my thumbs to kind of push down on it and used my thumbnail to just kind of push it into place. And uh, you just want to push it, make sure it's seated good and don't come and, out. Uh, that's it, y'all. The hardest part of it to me was just putting them two little keepers in there. And uh, so now we're ready to put it back on. So the reverse procedure, uh, taking it off. Uh, just do the same thing, just putting it back on there. Just a reverse procedure of that. All right, ready to uh, put the EGR back on. My gaskets still look good. Uh, I'm not going to place those. And remember when you put the uh, solenoid back on the EGR, make sure the connector itself is pointed back toward the front there so you Plug in, you can put that on backwards.
right, y'all. Well, I've got my EGR valve put back on my truck. And uh, I just want to bring y'all along today, show y'all how it's done. It's real quick and easy process. Just a good way to do some preventive maintenance on your truck. Keep it from having trouble on down the road. I try to do mine, like I said, every about 70 to 100,000 miles. And uh, mine wasn't too bad this time. And uh, cleaned up real good. But uh, I just want to share that video with y'all and maybe help some of y'all out if you uh, think about doing your own. And I appreciate y'all coming along watching the video. And as always, friends, my family years, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.